Hello and welcome to this short educational video explaining the process of quick change site directed mutagenesis as patented in 1998 by Stratagene, a California based biotech company. Site directed mutagenesis is a technique for introducing desired mutations into a genome in a controlled way, as opposed to random mutagenesis. Quick change mutagenesis is a subset of site directed mutagenesis that is capable of creating a whole double stranded plasmid that incorporates the desired mutation into both strands. To help highlight the differences between site directed mutagenesis and quick change mutagenesis, let's first go over the process of regular site directed mutagenesis. A short primer of 20 to 25 base pairs is synthesized complementary to the target DNA. The primer contains the desired mutation, which could be an insertion, deletion, point mutation, or multiple base changes. After the target DNA is denatured, the primer anneals to the target. With the addition of a DNA polymerase and the four DNTPs, the primer is extended. The gene is then introduced into a host cell as a vector and cloned. There are a number of issues with this method of mutagenesis. First of all, once DNA polymerase is done extending the primer, you are left with a mixture of wild type strands and mutant strands. The wild type template is methylated, while the mutant strand is not. The host cell may contain mismatch repair systems that use the methylated strand as the template for repair. This removes the desired mutation, leaving the DNA in its original parental form. Quick change mutagenesis attempts to fix these problems. Quick change mutagenesis uses two mutagenic primers that are complementary to each other. Each primer anneals to a different strand of the denatured target plasmid. This creates two mutant strands that are complementary to each other. After the mutant strands are synthesized, the parental DNA is digested with the restriction enzyme DPN1, which targets methylated DNA. This is its restriction site. After the parental DNA is digested, the remaining mutagenized plasmid DNA anneal into nicked mutagenized plasmids. The nicks are sealed with DNA ligase, and the plasmids are transformed into host cells and cloned. After quick change mutagenesis is performed, there is no wild type parental DNA left, as DPN1 removes only the methylated DNA. Mismatch repair systems favor methylated DNA as the template, so if mismatch repair was activated in the host cell, there would be a larger proportion of mutagenic plasmids than if the parental strand was included. However, after quick change mutagenesis, there are no mismatch base pairs left. The mismatch repair system of the host cell is not activated, and transformation efficiency is not affected. Site-directed mutagenesis is used in synthetic biology for the removal of restriction sites that can be problematic in a device or construct. Biobricks contain restriction sites for ECHO-R1, XBA1, SPE1, and PST1 for the easy assembly of multiple biobricks into a single device. If any of these restriction sites are contained in the genes of the biobricks, the device will be digested during assembly. Introducing synonymous mutations that remove the restriction site but keep the amino acid sequence the same can be done using quick change site directed mutagenesis. Site directed mutagenesis is a useful tool for investigating the effect specific mutations have on the functionality, structure, and biological activity of a particular gene. 
However, with the decreasing cost of oligonucleotide synthesis, artificial synthesis of entire genes is now a viable alternative. 